Sunday dinner. I have some uh, barbecue baked chicken with some petite red potatoes and some carrots in there. Here's my cornbread and there are my veggies. And these little trays right here, I'm getting ready to make a tray for my one of my elderly neighbors, which I always try to share my blessings whenever I cook Sunday dinner. And I hope you all do the same thing. Share your blessings with someone elderly. All right, time to eat. And here's my my neighbor's to-go tray. We have some chicken, barbecue, and just baked. And then there's potatoes, sautéed asparagus, and zucchini, and three pieces of cornbread, and some extra barbecue sauce in case you need some. I'd say that's a pretty good look of Sunday dinner, don't you? <laughs> All right, let me fix my plate. some breakfast we just got back from our walk from the doggy park and I'm going to be making um, a breakfast sandwich this is going to be a mega breakfast sandwich I'm using two eggs I'm only going to use the egg whites and, I'm, and to my eggs I'm going to be adding some zucchini some red onions some mushrooms and a little bit of cheese there's some olive oil back there there are my buns toasting up back there and this is a pan I'm going to be making my eggs in and there is my homemade chicken sausage links. They don't have any casing, casings on them. Um, I made a sausage, a chicken sausage recipe. It was a special request from a viewer. He wanted to see how I made my breakfast sandwich with the chicken caseless chicken links. So that's what we're doing. Put these over. Oh my goodness, my kitchen smells amazing. Alright, let me get my egg started. Okay, so to my fry pan I added um, one tablespoon of my garlic butter and I also added a little splash of olive oil. This is going to be a good hearty breakfast because I'm not having lunch today. I'm going to work through lunch because i got a few videos to edit. So I'm making myself a hearty breakfast to tie me over. And I'm going to be using my favorite. <laughs> I put this stuff on everything. It is so good. And it is good on everything. It says right here on the label. Good on everything. yolks that much, so I'm only going to use one yolk.
here's my sandwich. I ended up scrambling my eggs because I had too much fixings in there so it didn't set up real good. So I just scrambled it and put it on uh, my buns. <laughs> so I have an open face scrambled egg, veggie, and chicken sausage sandwich. And it is good. It's going to be good no matter what. And there's my coffee. Mmm. This is going to be messy and good. Mmm, 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 Doesn't get any better than this homemade breakfast sandwich on a homemade bun with homemade chicken sausage. Everything is so right in my world right now. Good morning and happy Tuesday. I'm on my way to do one of my least favorite things and let's go to the grocery store. I'm making Sophie some doggy treats and I needed a few things so I didn't really want to wait until I went and did my major shopping so I'm gonna go and get I'm gonna get out here on double mask <laughs> and I'm going to the store to pick up some things for my baby. All right I'll check I'll check back with you when I get to the store. I know one thing, it's hotter than I'll get out out here today. It's supposed to be 107. So this is gonna be a really quick trip and get back in my air conditioned house. Because I do not like being out in this heat. All right, all right, check with you later. Okay, made it to the store. I'm gonna be in and out of here because I do not like being in these stores, period. People are still being stupid. All right, let me see what I need here. I got to get some frozen veggies because I'm making Sophie another batch of her favorite food. She loves she loves the homemade stuff, and I'm trying to wean her off of that, um, you know, all that dog food stuff because holla, all that, bunch, that stuff is just a bunch of crap. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> uh oh, look where my basket led me. I can't imagine why it brought me over here. Can you? <laughs> oh yeah, it's gonna be getting ready to be on now. Let's see, what do I feel like having today? Something light and fruity. Okay, this is all I need in here. Now I'm gonna get the heck up out of here because this store does not sure drives me crazy. See you in a little bit. Okay, I gotta check out one of these self-serve things. I hate these things because I always screw them up. Okay, I only got a few things, so I'll just do it. Okay, I made it home from the store and I am wiping everything down. I always, as soon as I get in the house, I run me some nice hot soapy water, put a couple of drops of bleach in it, and I wipe everything down before I put it up in my cabinet or in my refrigerator. And I'm sure this cream right here is going into a batch of ice cream. Got some Sophie's uh, yogurt. And look what I found. Something sweet and fruity. <laughs> That's going to be for my lunch later. Or my dinner. Because I'm going to have some more chili. I made some black bean chili. And I got a bunch of it in the freezer. And that's what I'm having today for dinner. Alright, let me finish washing up here. Okay, this I'm warming up some veggies for Sophie's lunch and she has some peas and some spinach and some broccoli and cauliflower mix and she absolutely she loves anything green she's just like me loves anything green I got your food ready, but you're gonna have to wait till it cools off, okay? 
You got some peas and some spinach and some broccoli and some cauliflower, all your favorites. Okay? You good? You want to see it? Look. It's too hot for you to eat right now, though. Wait till it cools off. I know. <laughs> Say grace. Come, Lord Jesus, be Sophie's guest. And let this gift to her be blessed. And thank you, Lord, for this food to nourish her body. In Jesus' name she prays. And I pray. Amen. Okay, go ahead. Is it good? I guess it's Sophie approved. <laughs> so I have like a quarter cup of her kibble in there and about a quarter cup of the veggie puree. And she absolutely loves it. And she'll have her licky mat later on in the day. I have an appointment at 3 o'clock, so I'll give her that to keep her busy while I'm gone on my appointment. Okay, we're good. Good? <laughs> she has not come up for air. And she will stay there until her bowl is clean. <laughs> I call her the clean plate queen. All right, there's my black bean chili that I'm going to have for uh, lunch or dinner today. And there's the chips that I bought. So I'm not sure if I'm going to make me another batch of nachos or just some chili with some chips in it. But um, the recipe for my black bean chili is already up on my site. So check it out. And it made a ton of it. So what I do, I portion it out in the size that I'm going to eat. And then I put them in seal bags and put them in the freezer. So when I feel like having chili, I just go and grab me a bag out the freezer, let it thaw out, and I'm good to go. And I got a delicious lunch or dinner already made. You want your licky mat? Here it is. You gonna eat it? You want it right now? <laughs> All right, here. I'll put it down on your on your thing there. Hang on. You good? Okay, it's time for her afternoon licky mat. I put it in the freezer, and I forgot to give it to her before I went on my appointment, so it's really frozen. So that's gonna keep her busy for a while. And that is her favorite thing to do, is her licky mat. <laughs> Sometimes I put yogurt on it, like this time. Sometimes I put peanut butter on it. Um, I have um, pureed cantaloupe, because she loves cantaloupe. And I pureed strawberries. She loves that. Um, spinach, sometimes I put it on there. Any kind of green vegetables. If I put green vegetables on there, she loves it. But she likes the sweets better. I have to, you know, regulate her and keep up with the Make sure she didn't eat too many sweets. And look at her moving her, <laughs> her mat. She'll follow that thing all around the floor. <laughs> and here's a tour of our workout room. They got it open again. So there's a treadmill, two treadmills. And two bicycles. There's a weight scale over there. And out this window here is where the pool is. Yeah. Okay, cool. This has been, they closed it because of COVID, but now it's reopened. So everybody's happy about that. Here's a scale. 
I refuse to get on it because it lies. <laughs> I'm going to use one big, huge sweet potato. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> and some olive oil, my level of pepper, my french fry seasoning concoction that I came up with. <laughs> and all it is is um, dry ranch dressing, a little onion powder, a little garlic powder, and I think that's all I put in there. And then I got some crushed black pepper and some avocado toast seasoning, which I'm going to try in here because according to this thing, this stuff is good on everything. Look at all this stuff. I put it on everything. Eggs, pork, chicken, vegetables. I don't eat fish, so don't have to worry about that. But it's really good on everything, just like they said. And look, look at the spices in there. It's just full of flavor. So that's going to make my sweet potato fries really, really, really good. So let me get them worked up, and I'll be right back. And now it is time for lunch. These potatoes were really, really, really good. Now, I said that the uh, cooking time, the baking time, was 15 to 18 minutes. That really is going to be dependent upon how your oven cooks. So just keep an eye on them when you put them in the oven. And you want them nice and soft and maybe just a little bit crispy around the edges. And um, they're good. Now, I took my ranch dressing and I seasoned it with tahini, cilantro seasoning, and it really paired nicely with the uh, seasoning that I have on the potatoes. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me this week. And I hope you're enjoying my vlogs. And I hope you give these recipes a try. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for um, spending a few minutes of your time with me this week. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. And the notification bell. That way you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. And please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That will let YouTube know that you enjoyed the channel. I 
hope you all have a blessed week ahead and please stay safe. Keep your mask on. We're not out the woods yet. We still have a lot of, a lot of work to do um, so we can get back to living our best lives. And I will see you on the next cooking and video vlog. Be blessed and keep on cooking.